It's Conyers Hill and Sean O'Keefe with the advantage as they jump the last. Conyers Hill lands three in front of Blue Reed who runs down the flight of Fowler Tudor Manor but racing up towards the finish it's Conyers Hill and Sean O'Keefe going to win the opener for Juan Olin. Conyers Hill by about half a dozen lengths in the end from Blue Reed in second. Third was Walmix. It's Conyers Hill and Sean O'Keefe with the advantage as they jump the last. Conyers Hill lands three in front of Blue Reed who runs down the flight of Fowler Tudor Manor but racing up towards the finish it's Conyers Hill and Sean O'Keefe going to win the opener for Juan Olin. Conyers Hill by about half a dozen lengths in the end from Blue Reed in second. Third was Walmix, four Rocky Boya, five, and your bird can sing. The head down to the final flight. And it's Starman and James Sullivan comes through, jumps that much better, lands two in front of Baldurino in second, Natural Breeze and Rotten Rowan heading towards the finish. Starman quickens away to win this by about half a dozen lengths. The end, Starman from Baldurino in second. The head down to the final flight. And it's Starman and James Sullivan comes through, jumps that much better, lands two in front of Baldurino in second, Natural Breeze and Rotten Rowan heading towards the finish. Starman quickens away to win this by about half a dozen lengths. The end, Starman from Baldurino in second, Natural Breeze third, Rotten Row four, Cool Arcade and Dark Voyager. Ina Bay tries to stay on in the inner as they head down towards the final flight. It's Costanucci has come through under Neil Ryan to lead and heading down inside the final running. It's Costanucci who picks up well in front and Costanucci goes on by a length or two. Follows up its win at the stall last week. Costanucci from Stall along. Ina Bay tries to stay on in the inner as they head down towards the final flight. It's Costanucci has come through under Neil Ryan to lead and heading down inside the final running. It's Costanucci who picks up well in front and Costanucci goes on by a length or two. Follows up its win at the stall last week. Costanucci from Stall along. Third was Pearl of Florida. Ina Bay. No fussing, stayed on from the back of the field ahead of Binks. But down to the final flight is Brianna Lilly's out in front and jumps it well as they in second place close enough with more info and Flemens Riva stays on but it's Brianna Lilly and Mark McDonough out in front who's going to win this for Pat Foley and win in style in the end by about half a dozen lengths. Flemens Riva stayed on to be second but down to the final flight is Brianna Lilly's out in front and jumps it well as they in second place, close enough with more info, and Flemens Riva stays on, but it's Brianna Lilly and Mark McDonough out in front who's going to win this for Pat Foley and win in style in the end by about half a dozen lengths. Flemens Riva stayed on to be second, more info and close enough three and four, clear of Sean says and well, Polly. Down to the final fence, it's Bella Bliss with the advantage of the short go, trying to have a go on the inside at the last. Bella Bliss stumbled at it. Slight mistake, the short go takes advantage on the far side and goes on in the closing stages. The short go makes a winning debut for Fences for Henry de Bromhead and Rachel Black. Down to the final fence, it's Bella Bliss with the advantage over the short go, trying to have a go on the inside at the last. Bella Bliss stumbled at it. Slight mistake, the short go takes advantage on the far side and goes on in the closing stages. The short go makes a winning debut for Fences for Henry de Bromhead and Rachel Blackmore from Bella Bliss in second. Third, Robin to Glory, clear of iridescent and Drimsry Lad. There's a head down towards the final fence. It's Cave Court and Orna McGill gone on now by some three to four lengths. As they come to the last Cave Court, stands off, it jumps it well from Barbaha Queen in second, Shan Glory and Kilishi in a battle for third and fourth. But Cave Court is going to complete the four timer. Cave Court wins this by about eight to ten in the end for Noel Kelly and Orna McGill. There's a head down towards the final fence. It's Cave Court and Orna McGill gone on now by some three to four lengths. As they come to the last Cave Court, stands off, it jumps it well from Barbaha Queen in second, Shan Glory and Kilishi in a battle for third and fourth. But Cave Court is going to complete the four timer. Cave Court wins this by about eight to ten in the end for Noel Kelly and Orn McGill from in second place Barbaha Queen third was Shan Glory that's the one two three in the ticking core handicap chase Racing down inside the final furling, it's Jet Setting Jim. Royal Hollow now produces a challenge on the far side. Racing well inside the final furling, Jet Setting Jim. Royal Hollow on the far side. Jet Setting Jim and Royal Hollow up to the line. Jet Setting Jim is going to hold on. Jet Setting Jim by half a length for John Gleason. Royal Hollow in second. Racing down inside the final furling, it's Jet Setting Jim. Royal Hollow now produces a challenge on the far side. Racing well inside the final furling, Jet Setting Jim. Royal Hollow on the far side. Jet Setting Jim and Royal Hollow up to the line. Jet Setting Jim is going to hold on. Jet Setting Jim by half a length for John Gleason. Royal Hollow in second, back in third, Noble Talent. Fourth was Ebony Jade. And a concluding winner there for John Gleason and trainer John Queeley.